the Randberg Magistrates Court has in the last hour found EFF's Julius Malema and Mbuiseli Ndlozi, I beg your pardon, not guilty of common assault. The two were being accused of assaulting Lieutenant Colonel Johannes Fenter during the funeral of Winima Digizela Mandela in 2018. One of the things the magistrate has said today is that the state failed to prove that they were not part of a funeral convoy when Fenter stopped them, which is when the incident then occurred. Let's take you live to the Randberg Magistrates Court now, bringing our reporter, Tsehoa Tomoahi. Tsehoa, um, the magistrate also spoke at length about uh, discrepancies in the evidence of Colonel Fenter and those who corroborated his story. That's correct, Tembegile. Good afternoon to you. So, indeed, Magistrate Punsami really highlighted some of the discrepancies that he found with, from the state and also from the accused. But he also did find, Tembegile, some similarities between the two. Um, and he also did mention that, you know, um, the EFF leader, Julius Malema, and Member of Parliament, Dr. Mbuisen Ndozi, they did not intend to actually assault um, Lieutenant Colonel Fenter on that particular day, that they just wanted entrance and to gain access into that Four Ways Memorial Park on the 18th of April 2018, when it was the funeral service of Mama Wini Matikizela Mandela. So the intent was something that he spoke extensively to, also whether something is lawful and unlawful. But he then found that the pair are not guilty of the common assault charge against them, saying that they had no intent to actually cause this particular harm um, on Colonel Fenter. He also did mention that there was no injuries per se that Colonel Fenter um, succumbed to or that he actually had physically, but he did have some pain on his body. Of course, he was just going through some of the evidence that was brought forward by, um, by the, the testimonies that actually happened while, when this trial started here at the Randburg Magistrates Court. And interestingly enough, during that particular handing down of the judgment, there was load shedding that hit the court. However, the magistrates saying that there will not be a pause as this matter has been on the roll for way too long and he wanted to conclude it as soon as possible. So those discrepancies being highlighted in his judgment, but also some similarities that he found between the testimonies that were brought forward, not just by Lieutenant Colonel Johannes Fenter, but also by EFF leader Julius Malema and Mbuisen Ngozi, and also the other um, testimonies that came forward in the court that were brought by the state. And Julius Malema, in his brief address to the supporters who'd waited outside the magistrate's court, uh, clearly feeling vindicated today. Absolutely, Tembekile. He and, and, and his, and his uh, second accused, as he puts it, um, Mbuisen and Josie, feeling vindicated by this judgment, saying that they did not push um, Fenter on purpose, and they were actually pushing what he calls white supremacy. And that's how this should actually be seen, according to EFF leader Julius Malema. He also spoke and defended and thanked, actually, his legal team for the work that they did um, during this trial, saying that even though there were majority white people that were representing the EFF um, and the leader in this case, he also mentioned that they suggested and they actually found the, his lawyers, that is, that they agreed to represent them not because of the color of one's skin, but also saying that they told them that they will take on this case and represent the EFF as, um, because of the justice that they feel needs to be brought forward in matters such as these. So just some words that were brought forward by EFF leader Julius Malema. He also did mention that it is not yet Uhuru, that more still needs to be done to um, let go and to push away white supremacy according to him. But he did say that they do feel vindicated that it goes to show that the, according to EFF leader Julius Malema, and I quote Tembegile, that the EFF does not push people on purpose. However, um, that is what the judge has also said and they have continued to to say that, you know, with the Every Forum case also being heard today, the plea from Every Forum against the song of the Kill the Boer song, um, EFF leader saying to his supporters outside court today that even if people say that the EFF is violent in any kind of way, they should also remind the people that the courts have also found that the EFF does not do things on purpose, that there's always some kind of a reason for the actions that we see from EFF members. So, in Randburg, thank you.